Luizy Ribeiro Garden is a student project of the University of Brasilia in Brazil, and it's the first naturalistic garden designed with Brazilian savanna species. The garden was created and named after a biology student, Luiz Ribeiro, who was a feminicide victim back in 2016. The occurrence had a strong impact in our academic community, bringing the necessity to discuss how to combat the violence against women. At that point, a native tree was planted inside the university to honor her memory. Instead of designing a sculpture or a traditional memorial, we students, professors, Louise's family and friends decided to create a garden around that tree. The idea was developing an 800 square meters garden in the core of the Institute of Biology of our university. We thought of the garden as a place where plants develop freely, changing the landscape scenario constantly as an expression of art, but also of memory and belonging. Today in our team, we have three coordinator professors of botany and ecology departments of our university, and also 15 undergraduate students, one architect and landscape designer, two biologists, and one agroecologist. The garden was designed after a lot of public talks and workshops and discussions because we wanted to engage the community on the project. After one year of meetings and planning with a lot of people from different areas, in 2017 we finally started to develop the garden in a public event in which people could come and join us in different activities like weighing, separating and organizing the seeds and seedlings, demarcating the buds which correspond to the landscape design and of course planting. So for three years all the gardening was made by students from different courses, professors, landscape designers and other volunteers and all the process I thought these people about the ecology of those plants making the community feel like they belong to that small piece of nature inside the university. Therefore, uh, they appreciate seeing how the garden grows and they take care of it with so much affection. The decision of using only native species from Brazilian savanna came from a reflection about the botanic blindness. Here we are in the middle of this Brazilian savanna in Brasilia, but still, when people think about nature, usually they think about big forests and tall trees like Amazonia. Uh, we often uh, don't remember or don't even know the native plants from Brazilian savanna, especially the small ones like herbs and grasses. So inspired in other landscape designers like Pule Max, a Brazilian one who is really famous for using native plants on landscape design, and Amalia Robredo in Argentina, and Pete Udolf in Netherlands, uh, we thought it was important to use native flora on this landscape design. So lots of the plants that we use in this landscape design have never been used before. Most of them are wild and uh, unknown for most of the people. Uh, so we thought it was important because people can only protect what they know and what they see. So then we brought these species from uh, natural areas to the urban spaces like uh, the university for example. And uh, for that people can create some affection for these plants because now they, they see them in gardens, they see them inside the university and they care about them. To contextualize a little bit more about this biome, the Brazilian savanna, we have uh, basically two seasons, a dry one and a rainy one, so for almost six months of the year we have uh, just a little rain, but our plants are adapted to this seasonality, so for example on the dry season they get dry with brown golden colors and when it starts to rain again, they can uh, regrow fresh and green. So we accept nature as it is and we connect to its natural cycles. So for example, instead of wasting a lot of water to maintain the garden green the whole year, we accept that the garden is going to change during the year. When the dry season comes, we learn to observe it, to respect that uh, nature is going to change, it's going to be like that. And uh, we start to appreciate and to valorize uh, the beauty of the garden uh, with those brown and golden colors. 
through uh, Luisa Ribeiro Garden, uh, we learn about patience and uh, to respect nature's time. And that's a huge paradigm turnover in a society that's always running against time and fighting against nature. So uh, from a new ethics, we create a new aesthetic. In every leaf that grows and every flower that blooms, we remember why the garden exists. The garden is also a refuge for animals, such as bees for the pollination of the garden, but also birds that come here every day, or butterflies, and also bats during the night to look for nectar or fruits. For us humans, it's also a safe place so we can leave behind the chaotic environments of the city and to reconnect with nature. We often think nature is something outside our walls, our houses, our city, a bunch of resources that we can use, explore as we want to. But why don't we think that the city itself is an ecosystem and that we are part of our biome? Maybe because people think they don't belong to that nature, they are a part of it. So having a garden of native species inside the cities will certainly make people have a closer look to it especially for the different kinds of plants, even in small ones, such as grasses and herbs. Only 40 to 50% of our Brazilian savanna is preserved due to its high rate of deforestation, especially because of the monocultures, the cattle raising, mining, and also the urban expansion. Our nature is being taken away from us, and one of our goals is to open people's eyes for that. The garden gave Luiz Ribeiro's name another meaning, and uh, when we think about the garden, uh, we remember what happened, but we also think about the beauty of the garden, and that connect us with uh, who she was in life. Thus, our project impacts society in different ways, because besides being the memory of Luiz Ribeiro, we're always fighting for what is vulnerable, which is uh, the Brazilian savanna and, uh, of course, us women. Uh, so the garden is a reminder of what happened back in 2016 and why we still need to fight for gender equality. Now we want you to also be the change in your city. You can start small by paying attention to the plants around you or the lack of it and giving the native flora of your region the importance it deserves. Maybe even start a garden project, who knows? Well, be creative and don't give up on that motivation, the courage to take action and protect the nature we are part of. I'm sure other people will be inspired by it. <laughs>